um, because of the whole cheating thing. I've never really been a fan of um, Antonio Margarito. But tonight, he did do what he was supposed to do. He did get the win. He did look like a man who hasn't fought in five years. And he had a nice, a nice, nice crowd which shows that there's still some uh, Mexican marketability in Antonio Margarito. Now, here's something I've heard earlier this week, that if he would have looked good and won tonight, which he did, he didn't necessarily look good. He got knocked down in the sixth round, but but he hasn't fought in five, you know, five years. Uh, the rumor is, is, the rumor is, is that if he doesn't, if, if Canelo doesn't fight Golovkin, that there's a chance that Antonio Margarito can fight Saul Canelo Alvarez, if Saul Canelo Alvarez beats Amir Khan. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. And the big question I had about this fight is, okay, I understood why he picked um, Jorge Paz Jr., you know, Mexican fighter. He always comes to fight. And also, um, Jorge Paz Jr., this fight was at 154 pounds. He's a natural 147-pound fighter. He fought Jose Benavidez at 140 pounds. Also, he needed a uh, fight in which, meaning I'm mean, Antonio Margarito, in which he can look good at, you know. So, this wasn't a boring fight. But one thing I did notice is that Antonio Margarito's, like, okay, I understand he hasn't fought in five years, but... Even after he got caught by Shane Mosley, there's been questions about his power. And looking at the state of uh, Hori Paz's face and, and all the punches that he was getting hit with, I'm, I'm thinking that Antonio Margarito's power just doesn't look there. And if he does fight Saul Canelo Alvarez, um, I, don't know, I don't know if his eye is going to hold up. Did you see that eye? You know, one is like really, really big, like Illuminati eye big, and the other one is like really, really tiny. So if he's like looking straight at you, one of them is just like right there in your face. It's, it almost looks fake. It almost looks photoshopped. So um, he has been cleared to fight. The eye has been cleared, and they, they say that it's okay. Remember, Pacquiao broke his orbital bone uh, when they fought, and then Miguel Cotto put some finishing touches on the eye as far as... Um, vengeance for him using allegedly using the plaster of Paris when he beat Miguel Cotto but I'm just thinking Antonio Margarito at this point in time in his career he's marketable and I would like to see him versus Canelo but realistically what does he bring to you know the boxing landscape because I can't really see him beating anybody I just see him being somewhat of a, of a little bit of a high profile name because of his fights with Miguel Cotto and, um, and Manny Pacquiao for other up and coming fighters to beat up on. So, you know, and then Jorge Paz actually for him to be a smaller fighter actually gave him a hell of a fight. But as I said earlier in the video multiple times, you have to understand that Antonio Margarito hasn't fought in five years. So, you know, who is he going to fight next? It's not going to likely be Canelo next. I'm thinking that if he's going to continue to fight, he needs to stay active. And since it's March right now, I'm saying he fights maybe in July or August and then finish the year out with another fight. And as I said, the rumor is that it's a good chance he may get to Canelo Alvarez in a big Mexican fight. Maybe on it'll, it'll likely be on pay-per-view if uh, Canelo gets through Amir Khan and they still can't work out a deal for Amir Khan, I mean, um, Canelo versus Golovkin. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Follow me on Twitter at T Street Live. Please subscribe.